Hi there, Mark Donovan, Falcon Imagery. Today I'm going to talk to you about the subject of pressure altitude and more particularly how we determine the pressure altitude. Pressure altitude plays a key role in determining an aircraft's performance. Particularly uh, what we care about is you know, takeoff performance, climb performance, cruise performance, and landing performance. In all of the performance charts associated in a pilot operating handbook for an aircraft, um, all kind of start with understanding what the pressure altitude is. The problem is getting the pressure altitude is not always straightforward. If we were to go to foreflight and look at a METAR, we would see information on the wind speed, the wind direction, the temperature, the, temp uh, the dew point uh, level, and density altitude in the altimeter setting, but we wouldn't see pressure altitude. So somehow we got to determine what the pressure altitude is to use those performance charts in the pilot operating handbook. And so I'm going to show you or talk about three different ways that we can get the pressure altitude. Uh, the first uh, way that you can get the pressure altitude is if you're sitting in the plane is just dial up 29.92 inches of mercury uh, in the Colesman window on the altimeter and just read what the altimeter uh, level says at that point. That is the pressure altitude. The second way is we can do a mathematical uh, calculation to determine the pressure altitude and I have a separate video on that and I'll put a link in the, uh, subscript in the, in the description that show you how to calculate the uh, pressure altitude. And the third way is using the E6B uh, computer or whiz wheel. And that's what I'm going to show you today is how by knowing the density altitude and the temperature that we can get from a METAR, uh, let's say off a of four flight, um, how we can determine what the pressure altitude is at our departing or arriving airport. So for this example in calculating the pressure altitude using an E6B uh, flight computer, we're going to use this uh, METAR that comes out of Phoenix. Um, Sky Harbor Airport and what we can see here is the temperature is 7 degrees Celsius and the density altitude reads 266 feet and we know the field elevation is 1135 feet so we're going to go ahead and determine the pressure altitude using the E6B based on this data from the METAR. So the two windows we care about for determining pressure altitude uh, for this uh, question on what the pressure altitude is at Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix at this moment based on the METAR, is looking at the pressure altitude window and the density altitude window, as well as the temperature scale across the top of the pressure altitude window. So we were told that the density altitude at Sky Harbor at that time was about 266 feet. So there's a thousand foot, there's about 500 feet, and I'm gonna say somewhere right about there is about is right about there, about 266 feet. Really fine grain there. So then we take a look at what the temperature scale showed. There's zero degrees Celsius, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We care about seven degrees Celsius. So if that's zero, that's five, and that's 10, it looks like it's right about a thousand feet, maybe just shy of a thousand feet um, pressure altitude. Well, how does that E6B determination of pressure altitude equate to the mathematical way for figuring out the pressure altitude. Well, we have a field elevation of Phoenix at 1135, temp again 7 degrees Celsius, altimeter 30.14 inches, density altitude 266. In order to calculate pressure altitude, we need to take the difference between the standard pressure and the current barometric pressure reading. So 30.14 minus 29.92 equals 0.22. We're going to multiply that by 1,000. We need to do something with this 220 feet. Well, since the uh, Altimeter is reading heavier or, or higher number than the standard pressure of 29.92. We're going to wind up subtracting that 220 from the 1135 field elevation and works out to 915 feet. So indeed, uh, what we uh, determined on the E6B for pressure altitude uh, was correct. We roughly saw just under 1,000 uh, for pressure altitude on the E6B and we calculated here 915 feet. Let's do one more example. Here we are at L35, or Big Bear City out in California, and you can see here that we have a temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius, an altimeter of 30.27, and a density altitude of 5,863 feet. So let's go ahead and figure out what the pressure altitude is for this airport, in this particular uh, temperature and, and density altitude conditions. All right, so for this example, the density altitude was 5,000 863 feet, so I'm going to line that triangle right up with just under 6,000 on the density altitude window. 
and the temperature was a minus 3. So there's minus 10, minus 5. So it looks like the pressure altitude is somewhere right around 6,500 uh, feet for pressure altitude. And let's check that out with the map. So how does the pressure altitude reading that we um, determined uh, on the E6B compare to doing the mathematical way? Well, we had a field elevation again of 6,752, temp minus 3, altimeter reading of 30.27 uh, inches, density altitude of 5,863 feet. So taking the difference between our altimeter reading of 30.27 and the standard pressure of 29.92 inches, we get 0.35. We multiply that times 1,000 and we get 350 feet. Since the altimeter reading was um, a higher pressure than the standard pressure, we're going to wind up taking uh, and subtracting out the 350 feet from the field elevation. So 6,752 minus 350 gives us a pressure altitude of 6,402, which is indeed uh, what basically I saw uh, using the E6B computer uh, for determining the pressure altitude. So there you have it. That's how you calculate pressure altitude using an E6B computer. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you get notified on my next video.